they always call me a dainty princess. I like it sometimes, but that was ridiculous. <laughs> Y'all think I'm like some like dumb like person. I use proper grammar no matter what I'm doing, whether I'm writing a note to somebody or whether I'm just texting or tweeting, no matter what it is, I just like have a really big like OCD with it. Like it's kind of like a perfectionist problem. KJA92 said writing cards with boys is the best. Yes, I want to be your friend. I live in Orlando. Girl or guy, I don't know. We could still be friends if you live in Orlando. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's an Orlando, Kentucky. She's not talking about Florida. Oh, are you in Florida? Uh, wait, there's an Orlando, Kentucky? This is why I didn't graduate. <laughs> so, um... And a lot of you are probably like, why do you need a bag anyways if you don't leave the house? It's just where I have a bunch of like collective stuff that I do use like almost daily. These puppies right here, which are um, wireless earphones, yeah, headphones. And I also got some edamame. I love edamame. Edamame is super, super easy to cook, but edamame will shrink down. A serving of the edamame in each, which is half of a cup as well. This is just like cut up chicken tenderloins or something like that. Should I edit that out? No. Why? Because it's you. It is me. Authentic Lynn coming in hot. Someone said, so did you use the wrong word? Yes, because there's a word called coerced. And I, did I say that wrong? Coerced? Coerced. Coerced. It's such a weird word. What does it mean when you don't fart a lot? Y'all, what does it mean when you don't fart a lot? I'm talking maybe once a day. And I've been like this for years. I don't burp either. I, like, I don't have gas, if you will. There should be a hotline that you could call and ask health questions too. I would totes call it right now and just be like, um, why don't I fart? <laughs> like, what's wrong with me? So. I always want to buy some fresh cut fruit, but the dates are always like, eat by tomorrow. But it's like, how are you supposed to eat something this gigantic by tomorrow? I want it to last at least a couple of days. I mean, it's ridiculous. I find it difficult to believe that you were 475 pounds. A month or two ago, you were 480, but your stomach and cheeks and eyes look a lot fatter now. This part, is it like my pupil? I don't, I don't know. I have not gained weight. I myself also am like shocked by it. Like the average person gains like five pounds just throughout the day. Like if you weigh yourself in the morning and then weigh yourself at night, you're like five pounds heavier at night. See, see, it looks like a can. Oh, it does! I'm such a dingus, I never noticed. Cause you so smart. I like totally lost more weight and I'm just like so proud. All right, you guys, I'm joking. Becky got me these <laughs> like a week ago, I don't know. No, but for real. Okay, you guys know that yesterday I ate over my calories by I think it was like close to 400 and I was a little like oh no and I was expecting to weigh in today and gain weight and I didn't Ugh. this one is a navy blue ish type material <laughs> Mary Little Lamb goes something like Can't even fathom. Can't even fathom. Can't even fathom. That is the word. How good it feels out here. I am always staring at my laptop. I got some glasses to help with the blue light. I've just been noticing like a strain to my eyes and my head hurts a little bit more. So I got a pink pair. Um, I don't like how the lenses are like yellow. 
I don't like that. If they weren't yellow, I feel like I would enjoy them more. And I think these might be my favorite. A little leopard moment. And I notice now in this lighting that they're kind of yellow too. Kind of annoying. I do need to go to a real eye doctor. A lot of people think I'm flaunting it. No, I'm just proud of where I have become. Where I've become, where I have became. Y'all are gonna make fun of me for that too. Right after the consultation, for the consultation. I'm the biggest editor ever. When I'm doing my vlogs or when I'm just making any type of video at all, I will edit the crap out of it. I take out pauses, random sentences that I just cannot stop saying, boring things like <laughs> me saying like, or um, or so. I take out just big chunks. Normally a video that's about 10 minutes long was naturally about 20. So that kind of shows how much I do take out. I mean, look at me. <laughs> but this is common sense. This is science. Just eat below your calorie deficiency. You need to have a caloric deficiency. Ugh, deficiency. It's that plain and simple. No matter which way you slice or dice it, that is the one of the biggest ways to lose weight, honestly. When we don't want to carry something down the steps, what we do is, if there's nothing too breakable, because that is a long fall, we'll drop it like this. Oh! I haven't had asthma since I was literally, no, I want to say like 12 years ago. And now all of a sudden I feel like I have it again because I'm exercising. Does that make sense? And it makes me like feel like I shouldn't be exercising. So anyways, I'm going to keep on writing. I'm just having like a cool, calm, collective moment. I'm not sure what's going on later, but I just wanted to say hello. Let's try again. Why aren't you going in? Basamati rice. I pronounce that funky. So... It is a lot of food, so that's what it looks like. It's a lot of food. I'm uh, taking off the meat and the lettuce. So, my appointment's coming up. You guys should have heard me when I first stepped on the scale. I was ecstatic. Noom is working because I know for a fact if I wasn't doing Noom, I would still be sitting. So all clean. So now what I'm going to do is take one. By the way, they have butterflies. Isn't that cute? Fill it with good old fridge water. So now that all of them are filled, I'm going to put them in the fridge. So now we have water. I like to, I'm kind of blurry, I'm sorry. I like to um, fill these up with our fridge water as well. So don't worry. So I'm just doing that. And then I have all this Optavia on the counter and I've been like trying to wonder what to do with it. Mukbangs are so popular on YouTube and I'm surprised I don't make more of them to be honest i don't really do mukbangs mukbangs like a lot of people are like oh amberlynn you're using your weight loss for views and i'm just like i'm using i'm just like i'm using my life for views really because this channel is about my life i don't know if i wanted more money i'd be making mukbangs honey <laughs> a bookshelf type deal and i do have things on it on the top shelf i just have this little succulent 
succulent, whatever you want to call them. I don't think this is a succulent. I, I don't know how to say really anything. How do you claim to read and write as much as you do, but your grammar, vocabulary, and inflection are god-awful? Thank you for the super chat. They close in an hour, so it definitely gives us time to, to have some time. Sorry if I'm breathing a little heavy. My nose is feeling pretty stuffy right now. Are alle allergies normal this time of year? I don't know. A couple of vlogs ago, we went to the emergency room because she was having chest pains and they said it might be acid reflex, but we don't think that's the case. Her symptoms don't seem very acid reflex. Sometimes it does. I'm thinking maybe asthma. The appointment kind of rubbed me the wrong way, I feel like. The doctor said that EKGs only clarify there's like a 70% chance that there's nothing wrong with the heart. So there's another 30% chance that I'm just not liking. Doctors a lot of the time want to hope the best and no, 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 no. Why don't you just do the test now because you could be wrong. My take on doctors is kind of negative because I feel like some doctors are also kind of lazy. Let me clean that off real quick. Look how good that looks. Oh my God. Best smoothie maker in town. A little straw moment. I did that. I did that. Um, we actually went to Home Goods because there's a few things that we needed, and we found all of them except for one. I'll show a haul tomorrow. I drink diet soda on the daily. I actually drank like six a day and it never made me gain weight. It actually helped me um, curb, curve, curb, grammar. Um, I don't know which one, which word it is. Curb or curve, the cravings. Hi baby. <laughs> it's just, I, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Um, today's Friday. Saturday and Sunday. Saturday, I have a wedding to go to, which I'm so excited. Um, I'm super happy for the person who's getting married. Um, I don't really know like what I can say about that, so I'm just not going to say anything. But I'm super excited for that. And um, afterwards, we're well. Obviously, it's the person's marriage, so they got to choose what we're doing afterwards. And my last thing in my wallet is this whole page full of Danielle Steel books that she has wrote in her novels and I cross them off every time I read them and I add another one every time she publishes more because she tends to do so. Gun. Squanch plum. Plum. What does that mean? When was the last time you saw a gun? Like today. We have a gun. Yeah. It's not like I take it out every name. Drench it in hot sauce and stuff, cut. <laughs> oh, I said that I was gonna make a walking plan and I made one. So if you guys wanna pause it, you guys can pause it and look at that because I don't wanna sit here, <laughs> read it all to you. That'll probably bore you guys to tears. I am failing at the fact that I haven't done it yet. So I got to thinking, I was like, how many calories am I eating in a day doing this program? So I logged everything into my fitness pal from day one and day two and it was only about 900 calories, so I got a little freaked out. I, I honestly was freaking out, I'm gonna be real. I know a lot of weight loss patients eat around that amount. It's like 900, 1200. Your um, pappy had a heart attack today. J-O-K-E, joke. I can admit to that <laughs> firsthand, um, but I don't wanna make a big thing regarding this but i weighed in at 556 on the dot there are people out there rallying that i'm gonna reach 600 pounds by christmas so that's cute because <laughs> a lot of people have been confronting my plate with calories so i try to share the calories with you guys 
I know the weight that I gained over the last week was a lot of sodium and like water retention. Getting rid of that is very important. 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 I'm gonna do it. Do it until it clicks. Do you put it this way, right? Yep, do it until it clicks. Into this thing? Yep, until it clicks. There you go. Oh, okay. And now you have My to key. grab the key. Oh wait, that's your key. Out of this little thing. And then we take this. Now what? Feel free to remove the plastic holder now. Feel free to remove it. You have to. Ew, look at it. Like you literally see how they did it. That is yeah. so... How do you take this off? This better not have been a Yeah, off. you just break it. You just break it off? Yeah, I just broke mine off. Oh. <gasps> now I'm gonna go look at, um, what are those things called? Lanyard. Lanyard. Um, I'll show you guys what I get at the restaurant. I was gonna try to be like really good, but since I haven't ate today, like I'm probably just gonna get, hold on, I made a smear. No! That's my alarm for my medicine. I'm probably just gonna get, um, hold on. I'm probably just gonna get what I usually get. So, no, definitely not a rude question. I drink diet soda. I don't think that's something I will be stopping anytime recently. Or recent, recently, recent, anytime recent. A couple hours ago and I'm actually about to go to the hospital, to the ER because that pain is still there in my back. Of course, it's nowhere near as bad as it was, but it's like a constant dull ache in my right lower back, kind of where you'd get some kidney pain. So I, for one, am worried and I want to get that checked out or just see what the hospital says. It is midnight, so I'm going at a time where not a lot of people are usually there. So I'm gonna try my hardest not to take up anyone's time. I just know that if something is wrong with my kidneys, I better nip it in the butt now, but that's just where my head is going and where I'm worried. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to say something, but Twinkie got so cute when she snuggled. So I don't remember. What are your favorite sit uh, sitcoms? <gasps> the Nanny, honey. I love The Nanny. The Nanny. Greenwich. Yeah, it did. Whoa. Friends. Saved Fresh, by the Bell. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Wow, it is so freaking hot. And it almost compares to a sauna, cause it's like hard to breathe in here. So my question is, how do people survive in saunas, but not like in the car? You don't think it looks good? I didn't say that. Why does it look like you ain't got no eyebrows? <laughs> I, you've been knew that. You've been known. Like, what do you mean? We well, have like, mm -mm. I don't know. Uh, oh, I love you, babe. And if I sat here and ate carrots and stuff, I'd get full so fast and probably only eat like a hundred calories. Not enough. I get ASMR when I hear other people brush their teeth okay so side note i recently found out that wasabi is a norwegian cat norwegian and rarity is a rare breed from france so i was just like curious me and my girlfriend were sitting around and we were just like what type of cats are these so we did like major research and we like got really in depth like where are they from so yeah we have a little norwegian we have a little france moment and chihuahuas are from Mexico, so we have a little Mexico moment. Ever since then, randomly, I will get um, a slip disc or a bulge disc. They are different. I will, and the pain is excruciating, but it's never as bad as the time in Virginia. I could definitely say that. We're going to take it all down and then put it all back up. <laughs> um, but neatlier. Is that a word, babe? Neatlier? No. No? She said no. <laughs> so... Neater. Neater. There we go. I just edited out a burp. There's some mukbangers who are like, burp, 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 burp. Oh, sorry, I farted. You guys, I was opening my package from the new book that I got. And what is this? I am so creeped out. 
but I like have no words. Is this like insulation? Aren't you not supposed to touch stuff like this? I've never been more confused in my life. All I added was garlic powder and garlic salt, which is like sodium free or whatever. But I was opening an avocado. You guys know that stupid circle that's in an avocado. It's the seed. I don't know what I did. Like I have never in my life done something like this. We have this. to go to Walmart and get her some but I need to gauze eat first. and hand wrap, but like, she wants to eat first. Um, my aunt has completely stopped talking to me. In December, um, she blocked me on Facebook. She blocked me on her cell phone, blocked my number completely. Um, I have no way of getting a hold of her whatsoever. And the reasoning is... because I'm fat. Okay. Chin up, babe. Your crown is falling. Becky, you have one chin <laughs> right Jesus. here. Oh wait, no. You have like this chin and then this chin. She's been craving my chili. She loves my chili so much. Everyone who's ever tried it loves it. I love it, it's so good. Okay, you guys. So my chili soup is completed. Update on the chili. Becky loved it. She rated it out of 10 and I got a nine which is really high because she rates other people's chili like super low. I'm talking like below five. It makes me feel good that she likes my chili. I wanna go like in a chili cook off and see like what people think of my chili. I wanna go like in a chili cook off and see like oh. Please, think of my chili. please make that I'm a reality. I would so love Becky this. I actually had a eye doctor appointment. Amber's great chili cook off. I would love that. I would love that thoroughly. Please, can we make this happen? I'll throw down. I'll enter. What's the prize? What's the entry fee? I'm down. What's the grand prize? Do we win a bra? Like, I want to know. So she's actually, I got me some gingham love body cream. But to me, she looked like she was about 50 pounds bigger than I was. Either way, we were both like super huge in the restaurant. And she was also sitting at a table with her like chunky friend. And I couldn't help but almost like judge this morbidly obese girl. Like I am morbidly obese and I'm worried about other people judging me, but yet I am sitting there almost like judging this girl. Like. I wouldn't say I was like judging her like, oh my God, this big girl's in a restaurant. I was more so looking at her thinking, I'm so sad for her. So my plan is I wanna do intermittent fasting. I noticed that's like what helps me the best. Mmm, that tastes homemade. That tastes homemade and it's so good. I have ASMR. You look aesthetically pleasing. I wish I had my water. It's okay, you're not really supposed to drink liquids while eating anyways. Who knows if that's the truth. My eye, twitching, weird headaches, numbness, tremors in my body, pain. I don't know if I said that part. Um, so I'm just here like volunteering and I am having some raisin brand. I love Raisin Bran, it's actually one of my favorite cereals, but I've been having a debate with people online if I can touch my toes or not. Bending my knees, straight legs. I'm bending my knees or not, in which you can tell I'm not. Bam! I'm touching the floor, bitches. I mainly just wanted to put them here to see how it looks. And I think it actually looks really cute on the window seal. Seal, however you pronounce it. <laughs> it's the end of the night, and I wanted some ice cream. I went on to Uber Eats. I thought I was ordering brownie batter ice cream, and this is what I got. No lie, I got actual brownie batter. I opened it, and I was so confused. So I had to call, because I thought it was ice cream. So I had to literally call the place. I was like, um, I thought this was an ice cream place. Is the batter edible? They're like, yeah, that's, that's what this place is. I thought it was ice cream. I've taken a few bites of this since this is a eating vlog it's okay i don't really like cookie dough like that brownie dough i'm sad that i'm not eating ice cream it literally says no baked cookie dough brownie i just want to 
enjoy outside and I don't want to be hoarded up in my room all the time. It's pretty cagey. It feels like I'm locked in a cage. It is peppered beef jerky. Jack Link's is my absolute favorite and we have a Diet Coke. So I'm gonna be scrumption down on this. Scrumption down. Babe, is that a word? No. It is? So how I usually eat a chicken nugget from McDonald's. But then you have that part. So you just. And that's how I eat them. And then I throw this piece away. And I've already ate. Hello. I drink a lot of drinkage. Ugh. What is your favorite wild animal? Ooh, that's hard. I love tigers. They're so pretty. I love elephants. Are they wild? Yeah, I mean, I consider them wild. I'm not really a car girly, but I do like a Jeep. Um, I like a G-Wagon if we're being like super detailed. I'm gonna do the meats first and then put them in the freezer, fridge, whatever, because I don't want salmonella, sam salmonella, sam you know what I'm saying in random spots and then it also has this pink just like a snap of pink <laughs> so online I looked it up it said I can use acetone nail polish to soak it so let's hope for the best all right there we go are we in Alabama yet? No. We're not even in Alabama yet? No. Oh, We're kinda, about to be. It kind of looks a little Alabama-y. Can you give me the chips, babe? I don't want to. Let me just take some. Gracias. All right. Spider to friend, friend to spider, enemy grudge and love lost. I'm not going to ketosis I am a lot of people are gonna be like this is ridiculous but I'm afraid to go in ketosis personal reasons um because usually it's like a um bas bas I cannot say that right usually it's basomity <laughs> so <laughs> that looks like a good spot to have a picnic yeah, like don't it it's so good there is some flavor flavor in there. It kind of reminds me of like. Sorry about that. My lipstick, my lipstick is coming off. It's it's a whole freaking stipulation. Stipulation? That's not even a word. <laughs> Situation. No. Let it snow. Oh no. <laughs> Why? I don't like it. You have to clear these off, babe, so you can see. <laughs> Are you blowing it for real? I'm made of fruit. On January 1st, I'm putting myself on a very strict lifestyle change. Is there something on here? Something that I'm going to be taking out of my diet is I'm not going to allow myself to go out to eat, especially the first full month of January. It's going to be very hard. So we're going to a few of our favorite places um, the last few days so I know a lot of people will disagree with floral bouquet oh that smells like a floral bouquet for sure oh my gosh look at this candle holder aquatic marine have you guys ever heard of like ASMR videos or anything um it's where or they have the videos on YouTube that's why I said ASMR videos but ASMR is like a response you get in your brain where like you can watch watch someone do something or like hear someone do something and it kind of just like really relaxes you like I have that I have that really bad and that's what it's doing to me uh -huh. yeah <laughs> no Monticello <laughs> there should be one in London too there. What are you doing? Going around the back? No. Tiny. Did she spray Pam on the food? 
Ew! Why? I don't understand. I can't tell if it's see-through or not. <laughs> when I'm editing this, I'll find out. But, oh yeah, it is. Weird. What was that? The like the ghost was really like ew, girl. Don't show me your cleave. There are YouTubers who were teenage parents who they actually recently just turned non-teenage parents. They're vloggers. You don't have OCD. You have OBCD. Okay, thank you. I didn't know my psychiatrist was on here. Thank you. Everyone always says I chopped my onion weird. Well, to each their own, folks. To each their own. For work, I just want to say we sit at our desk all day long doing government type of deals. She's in such a good mood. Oh my gosh. Okay, baby. Baby. Let me attend to this real quick. I'm like craving ice cream 24-7. I don't know what's wrong with me. Destiny, did you get me pregnant? I legit feel like a police officer right now. Bend over. I'm about to handcuff your ass. <laughs> My angles literally are slaying the building. Oh, I'm crying. And my makeup. Oh my god. Oh, fuck the makeup. Fuck the wing. Take the wing. And let it be free. Okay, I'm cutting onion. You guys have this weird rumor that seatbelts don't fit me, but they do, so... <laughs> I just was never told to wear a seatbelt and like I don't know just think of it back in the day nobody wore seatbelts these will all break apart obviously once they start cooking a little bit more the cookies I'm not eating any of those Ooh, we're in the dark um, whoa, ran into a wall.